this isn't wrong. Tyrene is more dangerous than ever. She's got an army, the map, and my siren powers. I'm gonna need all the help we can get. Claptrap, what intel do we have on Promethea? Ah, Promethea! A shining metropolis and the home of the Atlas Corporation. It's the most technologically advanced planet in this arm of the galaxy. Atlas, huh? We'll have to convince them to help us find the vault before the Calypsos do. Killer, plug in that astronav chip so we can set a course for Promethea. So Atlas was the bad guy in Borderlands 1. And... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So they were indeed technologically advanced. The Crimson Raiders are actually an offshoot of the military branch of Atlas, which was called the Crimson Lance, and might actually still be called the Crimson Lance. But uh, most of them formed together on Pandora as the Crimson Raiders, as the good guys, basically, because uh, Roland banded them together. But let's place that astronav. All right, let's get the hell out of here. She's awfully Brace chipper yourself. all of a sudden. This baby's sporting an implosion drive. That means you gotta be real careful with it. A single miscalculation could end this adventure real quick. Boring. I got this. Onward to Promethea. Claptrap, wait. And uh, there we go. What did you do? <laughs> I'm bloody flying. Oh wow. What in the hell? Zero we got G. A whole breach. Pressure's falling. Uh, ah. Um, I think Claptrap's gonna. Oh, oh. Plug the leak. There he goes. That's weird. I'm not showing that whole breach anymore. That's because the only thing standing between this ship and space is my ass. My ass saved all your asses. One sec, y'all. I'll reboot the grav generator. Oh god. I'm too high for that. Okay. Not my kind of flying. Glad that's over. Well. Damn it. The drive's busted. Nav and propulsion too. Until we get our systems online, we're dead in the sky. Ellie, how long's that gonna take? Keep your skinny pants on, Lil. I'm working on it. Yeah, them skinny pants. Fast. Vault Hunter, go check on the rest of the crew. See if anyone needs help. Okay. Claptrap, keep your ass in that hole. You can count on me! Don't think he's going anywhere. Well, he's trying to pull himself off, which is, of course, a weird animation if he actually wants to stay there. Okay, check on everybody on the ship. So, Tannis, Marcus, and the crew quarters. The crew quarters. So what was I saying about... Yeah, Tales from the Borderlands is great. I think I said that multiple times already. Sad to hear about Telltale games, but Tales from the Borderlands is one of their best. So if you're liking Borderlands and haven't played that yet, go and do that right now, because it's amazing. If you can still find it, that is. And otherwise, check it on my channel. There's a complete playthrough of that game on this channel. So... Enjoy it, enjoy it while you can, because they might actually one day just take it offline. Because they don't like me. So, first off... What the fuck is this? There's a dead monster on the table and it's all frozen. Um, is there anyone there? Hello? Follow the clinical sound of my voice. Are you... Tannis? We playing hide and seek? worry about me i'm all right just staying warm oh god the thermal control system malfunctioned during the hull breach you'll need to reboot it why are you inside of well, the i suppose this is technically a microclimate <laughs> are you inside of the monster that that's great so i need to reboot this thing let's press there we go just a moment almost there what the f they made an animation for this. <sighs> Surprisingly comfortable, you know. Like a fleshy sleeping bag. Although I do feel a bit viscous. Yeah, I, Thank I can you imagine. Thank you for bringing my lab back to a survivable temperature. You should go see if anyone else requires assistance. I will contact you if any other devices require punching. Okay, that was clearly a Star Wars reference, only a bit more gross than the Star Wars reference. I'm just gonna refill my ammo here. They're health kits, I can't refill my ammo because they're all health kits. Makes sense in the medical bay. Moving on, then we have the other side of the ship, which looks incredibly nice. I'm assuming this is... this looks like hammer locks. Stuff. Hello? This looks nice. I would love this to be my, uh... 
my digs, but I'm assuming it's hammerlocks. Uh, there se it seems to be a level down from us. How does this work? The map is useless at this point, so I'm just going to head forward. Let's see if I can find... No, we also need to go down. So let's go down. Hello. Alley. Cargo bay. And there's a door over here. This Anyone? ship is big. Let us out! We're trapped! That maniac locked us in here! My bladder is gonna explode! Those doors should be working fine. Someone lock those poor bastards in before takeoff! Get them out of there, BH! Okay, so I need... Ah, okay, so there's just a... We're a pull switch. That robot is insane! He said he punished us if we called anyone. Um... Hot trap, did you imprison our crew? You mean the intergalactic interns slash slaves? Of course! I locked them all in a small room to ensure their unwavering loyalty. It's Management 101! I'm gonna say this once. No slaves. No slaves for a week! Got it! <laughs> okay. Recruit, okay, I then. can't use my prison cells anymore, I guess you can use one as your personal bunk. Ah! Aha! So we can store items in the vault over here. Uh, we won't be doing that just yet because I haven't found any exotics, which is fine. And then there's a weird yellow computer. That's weird. And a bed. Oh look, my personal drones. That's cool. So is this kind of already styled a bit towards base decoration? Oh, I don't have any decorations. Never mind. I do want to customize myself. Because I have unlocked a few things. So let's redo my own face. And we do have the Marcus Bubble, which is a different head. Or the Wanderer head, which was Vaughn's costume in Tales from the Borderlands. Which is actually pretty cool. Look at that. With my new black and red skin, that actually is pretty cool. So let's just keep that for now. I can also change my Echo Team to... Classic callback, clear plastic, or screen of death. It's loading in. Um, let's go with the classic callback as well. There we go. I'm far too humble to say how great I look right now. Yeah, there we go. So there's one more person we need to check up, and that's Marcus. It's supposed to be over here. What the hell is this? Oh, the golden key chest. Okay, that's also in Borderlands 3 then. My wares! My beautiful implements of destruction! Vault Hunter, quick do something! Okay. What do I need to... Oh, wait. Hit the sprinklers? That's one. Thanks! But my firing range is still on fire! Well, it's a fire... Firing range, not a fire range. So let's clean that up. And then down here is supposed to be another fire raging. Ah, there we go. Thanks. Come on back and let's have a little chat. I hope I didn't destroy the ship any further than it already was, but there we go. I shot the sniper rifle inside this place a few times. <laughs> Discharged a few rounds. Hello, Marcus. How are you? Haven't seen you since the bus. I appreciate the help. Hunter, but don't expect a fire sale. Ah, fire sale. You However, get her. you can take an SDU from your old pal Marcus. The more you can carry, the more you can buy from me. That is true, my man. That is true. So browse the SDU case. Ooh. So that's just the case now. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna take the backpack Both SDU. Need to carry a lot of stuff. But I still need to purchase it with money. Oh, okay. There we go. I can just purchase them. That's great. Um, I think I'm going to purchase Lost Loot SDU. That's not something I need. The bank is also not something but grenades. I want to be able to carry at least five grenades. It's nice. And then what's the gun that I use? lose the most ammo of? I think pistols are going to be fine. I, I usually do that. Pistols and shotguns. There we go. 100 shotgun bullets would also be nice. And the rest is that. And then, of course, if there's a gun over here, I'm not going to be able to buy it. So there is a purple assault rifle in this thing, but it's a thousand coins. I think I can get to that if I wanted to. Ooh, that's the new one we got. I'm just going to sell a few things. 
And there we go, we can buy it. The dead caracol. Oh no, we just can't buy it. I need to sell something else. I don't want to sell anything else. I'm gonna have to sell the VR gun, which is fine. We've sold it a few times. It was pretty cool, but it's not. It's gonna be outdone by the new guns quickly either way. So let's buy the purple gun. There we go. So now we have the sniper rifle we've been using. The fire pistol we got from Lilith at the end of, which I'm assuming is Act 1, so the Pandora chapter. And then the new assault rifle, the doll assault rifle we got from the weapon chest. So two purples and one blue, which is really, really awesome. And then I'm going to have a little chat with Ellie, who's all the way down here. Ellie, where are you? Ah, there she is. Entropy accelerator ain't no thing. Got loads of spare parts in the cargo bay and some special gear I was saving for you. Okay. So is she gonna open that up? Special gear for us. Oh. Oh hell. We gotta cut our losses and vent the cargo bay. Aw. 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 My loot. There goes my loot. Bye. Jetpack and all the left-handed guns. Guess it wasn't meant to be. But if Earl didn't get sucked out into the icy mall space, he should have a spare entropy accelerator. Aha, Earl is on the shop as well. On the shop? On the ship. Shop is something you can buy stuff at. But at least there are sh shops on the ship. How the hell are we gonna go? Oh. There's staircases over here. So now through the cargo bay. This ship has a really weird layout. What the energy cells? What the hell is all of this? Never mind, let's talk to Earl. Wow, he has upgraded his. Ooh. What the f. Veteran rewards. I could have bought purple guns with the iridium. Probably. Because now we can buy SDUs with money. What you want? An entropy accelerator. I'm busy. Now scram! Just hand over the entropy accelerator, Earl. I don't see your name on the door. Whatever your name is. Hand over that part or I'm gonna twist you into a pretzel and fondue your ass. Fair enough. I'd give it to you if you had something worth my while, but you don't. So get lost, freeloader. Earl, it's been a day, amigo. Don't test me. You ain't got squat. No sale! Earl, you... Vault Hunter, he's locked in there tight. Maybe if you had some more iridium, he'd be willing to trade. Go talk to my mama at the bar. She keeps all kinds of currency around just in case. Well, I do have a bit of iridium, but let's talk to Moxie first then. So, the side of the staircase... Needs us back up. And... Moxie's... Oh. Moxie actually has a bar on the ship. This ship is great, isn't it? Ooh, we get an introduction. Oh, wow. Her outfit has changed even further. Although it's a bit more clear now that she's a bit older than the other women. Vault Hunter, good to Jesus, see she's you. wearing less than before, isn't she? Hey, Vault Hunter. I'm just gonna do the trick What's again. Your sugar? Uh, it's Zane. We had a weekend at the casino. Did you forget me? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Quit thirsting up our new vault hunter, Ma. We're in the crap. We need some iridium to fix the ship. Have you tried my slots? Maybe you'll get lucky. What time is it? Okay. Is it drinking yet? Uh, is that ooh the slots look really cool though? Oh, I'll never learn Do I need to follow Moxie to the slots? And that was an animation. Let's use that. It's still loading the textures for some reason. There we go. Well, would you look at that? You've got the magic touch. I do. Come back anytime, sugar. I've got a few other games we could play. Okay. So, so, sw swallow. Uh, bye, Moxie. See, see you later. Ooh. It's actually what? What the hell? So there's a few with money, a cash trap, and then the vault line, which takes iridium for some reason. And then this 
as a loot boxer, which is, I don't know what that's going to do. Uh, knowing Borderlands is probably going to laugh into the face of some other games, but how the hell do I get back down? I've lost my way, comp I think it's over here. No, it's not over here. How the hell do I get down? It's over here. No. I'm... How the hell does this ship make sense? Okay, I found my way back. Hello, Earl. I got something for you, which I already have. You better buy something. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, wow. You can actually buy customization options. <laughs> With... Oh, this is awesome. This is... Yeah, okay. I don't have that, though. Wait. What? Pick up. Nothing strike your fancy. Well, I'm tired of looking at you. Scram! You can have the damn who's a what's it. Ah. Come back, never. It's, I didn't have enough iridium well, to buy any that of that. Was a bitch and a half. Now go install that new entropy accelerator. We gotta get a move on. But this looks nice. Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot of iridium for those things. And even those are pretty pricey. They do look really cool though, but I can't buy any of them. Nope, can't buy, well, well it's aside from the shield and the grenade mod, but... Just look at this. So while Sentinel is active, you gain 50% of damage as bonus cryo damage. This has a perk specific for my class. That is awesome. Okay, so now install the... what? That was that's a giant icon on the map there. So I need to make a small correction. The head I'm actually equipped with is of course not Vaughn's, because it's been a while since I played Tales from the Borderlands. This was eventually revealed to be Loaderbolt. So again, Tales from the Borderlands, incredibly good game that you can check out on my channel as well if you can't find it anymore to play it for yourself. And uh, yeah, Didn't it's it's I a, a very, very Wonders cool game. But this ship, I'm gonna completely lose my way in this ship a few times, I feel like. Um, that golden chest is nice, isn't it? But I don't have any shift codes to open that with. So I'm just gonna gather stuff the old fashioned way. I need to install the entropy accelerator we got from Crazy Earl. And it's supposedly above us. How the hell am I gonna get there? Well, I did find something else. One more mission for Moe's. That's one of the other playable characters. Five more missions and your contract's up! Then you're free to go! You said that five missions ago. No! I said five missions three missions ago, and three missions five missions ago! Get it straight, soldier! Besides, numbers don't matter! Wars matter! You wanna win this war or what? Or what sounds good. I don't give two turns in a Vercuvian ham sandwich what sounds good to you, soldier! You signed a contract! If you want to keep that Iron Bear unit, it's five more missions. Besides, I need you out there with the greenies. You quit, they die. Ugh, fine. One more mission. Where are we going? Darzeron Bay. F***ing motherfucker piece of f***ing f*** me! Okay, Moe's doesn't want to go to that bay. And uh, Moe's apparently was a, a war veteran, which is interesting. So let's plug that in. The doohickey? And who's this fellow? Has oh, a funny yeah. helmet on. She's purring like a skag with a belly full of bandit. We're back online, Lil. Head to the bridge, VH. Let's get out of here. Where's the bridge again? I'm bored as hell. It's over here. Okay, let's go check that out. <laughs> See if Claptrap's ass is still inside of the window. I'm hoping, because otherwise we probably would have died already by now. But let's check that out. And yeah, he's still in the wall. There he is. Still in the wall. Hey, Lil, you're back on the grid. Thought you might have just, you know. <laughs> While you were gone, Troy whipped up a propaganda vid for our followers. Galaxy premiere. Check it out. You're a star. <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. See what you will about those guys, but their production value is through the roof! Hmm. Ignore them, we've got work to do. Vault Hunter, let's get out of here. For real this time. 
Take us to Promethea. Okay. Can't you fly the ship? I've never been inside of the ship, so how I don't even know how to fly this thing, but okay. Let's push some buttons. There we go. Promethea, a megapolitan city planet glimmering with new technology and an unsustainable amount of noodle shops. When Atlas first discovered a vault on Promethea, it triggered a new golden age of expansion, research and profit margins. There we go. To, to Atlas we go. That doesn't sound good. Oh god, this is nauseating. Oh wow, Jesus. This is weird. My ass is full of stars, that's a quote. Ooh, what's that? What the hell? That's a Malawan fleet. Why oh, they look like Malawan ships? I thought this was an Atlas planet. Something ain't right, Lil. Wait, so these corporations? Looks like we aren't the only ones with their eye on Promethea. Vault Hunter, over here. So they, they own entire planets? I thought that was just just Pandora that was a problem, but apparently they those corporations own entire planets. Hello, Lilith. Listen, about what happened on Pandora. Can't let anything slow us down. You're gonna have to pick up the slack for me. Can I count on you? I got your back, Commander. Good. Now let's make contact with Atlas. If anyone knows where the vault is, it's them. Okay, but those weren't really nice people before. Uh, I don't did get a blue Not shield there. Not picking up any signals from Atlas. Malawan must be jamming their comms. Okay. So the shield is overflowing Moxie's embrace. Want to see a magic trick? Heal Gasm all over yourself and allies to heal them for 71 on shield break. That's a bit weird. Calling a that a heal gasm with Moxie's in, that's just really really weird. That's really really weird. Wait, here's something. Hi. That's so good. Like an Atlas distress call. They need help down there. Okay. Getting Atlas on our side would be a good start to finding the vault here. If we can back them up, maybe they'll help us. Or at least not kill us while we search. That distress call was coming from the city outskirts. We need to get you down to the surface, but we don't have access to the Promethean fast travel network. Way ahead of you, Lil. Vault Hunter, come down to the cargo bay and let's chat. Uh, Lilith, what's happening to your eyes? Oh, there, her head snapped. That's that's her neck that snapped. I'm sorry about that, Lilith. Um, so, Commander, see you next time. I need to go check out Ali. This place is confusing as hell, but there we go. Cargo Bay. Hello, Ali. Right, so, I rigged up our drop pod with a fast travel unit. Once you're planet side, it'll hook up with the local network and you can come right back up. No, now, I'm... It won't be what you call comfortable, or trustworthy, or safe by any measure. I'm just listing things, ain't no bud at the end of that. Except these two hams you've been checking out. I saw ya! Anyway, get in and I'll launch you. So I've been trying to keep my crosshairs from uh, Ali's cleavage, Listen, but I, I mean, there's so much cleavage there. Place, but she's hurting. We're all gonna have to pick up the slack. I know you're up to it, sweet cheeks. Well, you're welcome, Ali. See, see, you, see you at the planet, maybe. Meridian outskirts. Here we go. Promethea. And that's a weird little creature. Ooh. Yeah, those round Malion ships seem to be everywhere. And the textures are loading in. That's great. That looked like a rough ride. You still with us, killer? Oh. Worst thing. That ever happened to me. Let's do it again! Okay, Zayn is still happy. Alive. Looks like Ellie got you within the city limits. Go find whoever made that distress call. Okay. Hostile takeover. Answer. I mean, that building looks evil as fuck. <laughs> and the textures still are pretty blurry, but at least we're getting a few nice vistas, which is nice. Um, the edge of Meridian. So this must be the city of Meridian then. Creatures, what are these called? Ratchlings. Evacuate. I mean, even the Ratchlings are running away. Hello? Anyone here? Those things are over there. They're level 11. I'm not. But my weapons are. Okay. 
Okay. Bandits. How did they beat us here? Well, I mean, they they knew where to go, and we only set off after that. We had a bit of trouble with the ship and all that. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious that they. Oh, and that's a ratch. What is that even supposed to be? Okay, so the ratchlings are baby ratches. What's this? A class mold? Oh god. Um. Boom. Um, I'm just gonna try out my weapons. Ooh, this is nice. So that's a fire pistol. There we go. And I'm still having the, those hell charges. That's great. I don't see people getting on fire. Oh, now, now we have... A, is that a fire laser? Oh, wow. Well, that is something. So how many times can I fire? Oh, no, I can't. It's probably on a cooldown. Yeah, there it goes. And there that goes. So pretty fine, pretty fine. But we got a class mod. And class mods give us even more benefits. But the problem is I can't equip class mods. Even though I found one, I can't even equip it at the moment. A common operative class mod. Operative? Operative? Yeah, operative class mod. That gives me one extra level in borrowed time. I don't even know what that skill does. So increased action skill duration. Okay. It's gonna come in handy later on. But not for now, apparently, because I can't equip it even. So moving forward. There's not a lot of ammo. Superman. You finally made it! We've been here for ages. Oh, thank Lilith for the cool powers. This firehawk thing rules. Oh, have fun, bye. Okay. Oh wow, she just she's beaming them in. She got used to her powers really quickly there. Oh, why am I on fire? Why am I on fire? Drone. Ah, that's why. And my grenades are going all over the place. Hey, dude. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. And there she goes. And then we can do this. Feeling a little stabby. I apparently killed somebody with a knife. I thought I did that already. There we go. Get rid of that. Feel like there's somebody. Oh. Right next to the wall. Goodbye. Ooh, blue gun. Whatever that was, it's fire. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. There you go. Let's give him a few grenades there. Oh, and he's getting hit from all over the place. Oh, there's one right next to me. He's pretty well protected, but drone. There we go. Around the shields. I'm almost out of bullets there. So let's go to the... The auto rifle. Ooh, what the hell happened there? Okay, so these guys are getting blown up and there's grenades flying all over the place. Hello, sir. Oh, textures. Get to cover! I'll hold them off! Bloody! Hello, Lorelei. Bloody badass. Bloody hell, that got a bit mucky. I thought we were sorted back there. Hey, you! Over here! Hi. Hi. Hello. Slag me! You've got some good timing. These bandits somehow got their hands on some wicked Malawan guns. Oh, right. I'm Lorelei. Did Reese send you? Reese? Reese? No clue. Sorry. Yes. My boss, CEO of Atlas. We're at war with Malawan. Not from around here, are you? Wait. <laughs> now all these maniacs show up all over the city screaming about some vault. That's um. those Calypso shite heads. I'm trying to beat them to the vault myself. <laughs> the Calypsos? Those yammering Echonet assholes with the cult? 
Well, I got no slagging clue about vaults, but Reese would know. Come on, I gotta tell him about our new bandit problem anyway. I'll introduce you. Reese, yes, from Tales from the Borderlands, the main character from over there. That's gonna be well, awesome. To go but anyway. I do Let wonder. I do wonder how he became the president of Atlas, because that's not really explained over there. I'm guessing we're gonna find out. What's all this? Robots. Robots that have ammo in them. I'm just gonna quickly check. There's a cool no, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna go forward with it. Let's contact Reese. Grab some wheels. We need to drive through the spillways and there's always trouble. Okay. What can I actually spawn? Can I change vehicle types? I can get the technical now. Huh. So the technical was beefed up from before, but I'm gonna go with the outrunner first. Uh, so let's get that. Malawan pushed most of the Atlas forces back to HQ, but I've got a small team working behind enemy lines. I have to make sure they haven't been overrun with all these bandits running around. Okay, Lorelei, uh, I'm just gonna check this because there seems to be a bounty out for healers and dealers. Help Dr. Ace, who's struggling to keep his patients alive during the corporate war, even as he hustles that rap game. Okay, so that's a side quest. I'm gonna do that later on. So first, let's head to Reese. There we go. And this wheel looking thing is probably what Lorelei is driving. Boom! I mean, boom! Ooh, hovers. Ooh, I want, I want to have that. Can I? Ow, 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 ow. Get over here. Get over here. Get no, no, no. Oh, I thought I... Got it there. Freeze. Freeze. Why can't I overtake this thing? I can't take it with me, sadly. Okay, ah, that's why. Because the mission objective. That's why I couldn't, uh... Car jacket. Oof. I don't think he's getting it. Yeah, okay, gotta start this one over. And there he goes. No! Uh, I think he died. Me. The bandits are working with Malawan. Bloody fantastic. Okay, so we did get a skill point. Let's spend that on the. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. We were doing the salvation skill. There we go, so lifesteal. And I think one more point that we can go down, which is where the uh, more interesting perks are starting to come up. So, uh, increased effect and duration. So that's going to be nice. I think that's only one, probably, so I can check out the rest later on. So, Reese, travel through the Meridian Spillways with, uh, with Lorelei and this real-looking Star Wars thingy. It looks cool. I want one of those. Next time on Borderlands 3, we meet Reese. Hi, you reached the Strongport, CEO and wartime general of Atlas Corporation. Just a quick question. Who the hell is this and how did you get on my secure line? <laughs>